everybody. Mouse like 991 here, and we are back again. Continuing Life is Strange True Colors in Hype of Life is Strange Double Exposure coming out at the end of next month. You may saw on my channel that I did a match in Dota E2K24 with uh, Max, Chloe, and Rachel in Hype of the New Game. They lost, unfortunately, but. <laughs> I'm not trying to spoil it in this video, but they lost, unfortunately. You can go watch the match still. It's the last video I uploaded. And, but uh, that was all a part of the hype, as of this is right now. So, let's recap. So, uh, last episode, uh, uh, Alex came to Haven Springs. We helped save a kid <laughs> from almost dying. We, we met Steph, we did all these crazy things, and now Alex's brother Gabe has died in the freaking canyons, and it really sucks. We're gonna see where this goes, though. We're gonna see where this goes. So, uh, let's continue this in episode two. So two. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. 
Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister. Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure.
Do you play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift from Gabe. Cool. This is absolute cinema. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Silly wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. what's really going on with Steph. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? What are they 
called again? Don't shit on my yard. They're amazing. Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. to five points if you say so do I want do I want to skip this do I think my reflexes are fast enough to play this I suck at it in real life <laughs> so I mean yeah. Woo! foos ball champion foos ball champion <laughs> damn shit <laughs> family oh <laughs> Good game. <laughs> I like how it just quick cut like Thanks, that. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. This is absolute cinema. I'm not even kidding. This could be, this is, I'm, this is like the one of the best movies I know I've ever Gabe watched. made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Thanks, Jed.
I thought this was going to be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope. Really hope. For the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone. I didn't know I was gonna do that again. Let's see. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Wait, I feel like he's the one behind it. I feel like... His brother, no, his son. He has something to do with this. I know it. He has something to do with this whole thing. <laughs> where he freaking... Where he, he called that thing to go off that killed her brother. It ha he has to be the one behind it. I'm guaranteeing you that right now. Thanks, Jed. But it wasn't your fault. Max started it. Yeah, but I didn't exactly stop it, though, either, did I? I'm sure Gabe would have been happy that we had it here. I could tell he really loved this place. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. 
you might not get the kind of closure you're looking for, if you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. I don't have a choice. He was my brother. I have to at least try. Yeah, you do. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> Oh, this game. I, I have no idea what to even say to him. <sighs> Me either. Either I even had the, 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 uh, the ability to response in this game, which I don't. Text messages. Thanks, staff. <laughs> I mean, it feels so weird being in here with like literally no music playing. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not try again? <laughs> try to try this again. It's just weird because there isn't the. I mean, there's the background music from the game next to this one, but there isn't. There is no. Uh, background music in the entire place like there was the last time I was in here. <laughs> game on my uh, Switch, actually. They made a new one for the Nintendo Switch, I think, like a couple years ago. I have it. And they have a classic, they have a classic uh, mode on there. I don't know if it's this game, but... Oh, that was so close. <laughs>
I don't know why those yellow ones do not go away at all. I don't know where they got how they got the license to get this game in this game. It's a game inside of a game. I don't know how they got the license to do that, but it's it is insane that they did. <laughs> I think this game alone, like the, a standalone version of this game, is even on Steam. So I mean, like it's. Uh, come on, seriously. He's yellow. I don't know. What... Gabe hasn't came out, come over here. No, not Gabe. Uh, Jed. That's why right, Jed hasn't come over here. It's like, hey, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Trying to break high scores again? <laughs> Come on, seriously, why is it this hard? Like, I feel like it shouldn't be this hard. I still love how they put this game in here. I love this game. I didn't know this game would ever... I mean, I don't know how many people who played, who played this... What am I trying to say? I don't know how I'm, what I'm trying to say here. Like, I don't know how many people who actually play this Life is Strange game realize how good this, this game is. <laughs> I mean... I'm surprised Jen is like going over there like, hey, what are you doing over there, kid? <laughs> well, the dude just gave me, just like gave me the key to like literally my own apartment. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's like, don't worry, kid. You, uh, you can play this all you like. <laughs> I mean, the, the arcade machine that's up in Alex's apartment, I mean, like, I haven't beat that one yet. <laughs> but, I mean... Ah, uh, come on! It's... 
Why is it so hard just to get two more blocks? The set the, 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 the this game feet looks, sounds, and feels so realistic. It like I mean they, they did a fantastic job with this game. This is like probably the out of all the Life is Strange games so far, besides Double Exposure that's coming out, I mean, this one so far has been, like, the most well-fought-through one. I mean, Life is Strange 1 and, and Before the Storm, yeah, they were good. They were good games. I played them both, obviously. I have them both, I have, I have them both here on my YouTube channel. But, I mean, those games were good, but they weren't as well-thought thought out as this one is. This one is, I mean, they all could be movies. Let's, uh, let me just get that, let me just put that out there. They can all be movies at some point, including this one, but if they made, if they made this one into a, like, into a movie and they went it on and did it, it would be really, really good. Not even lying. Like, this, like, <laughs> Labor Strange True Colors the movie, like, that would, like, it's like, I'm just saying, that would be like, like, really good. Like, it would be like, it would be that good. Ah, uh, seriously? Come on. Just one a block. Why is it so hard just to get one block? <laughs> I don't know if this game even has an end. Because it's an arcade game. Arcade games usually don't have endings. But, I mean... Because they go on forever and ever and ever because they're, they're meant to... That's great. I'll get back to it. I'll probably be back here a million times, so I'm pretty sure. Damn, Ducky. shame. There's a wall of shame. <laughs> I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Do you see me down there when I killed it in that game? <laughs> there. Oops. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah. That'd be good. what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. I had an incredible mom. 
and I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Bye, Mom. I sure probably should not turn on the cheap bias for copyright reasons. <laughs> uh. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. Game looks but so I'm not leaving good. here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange. Oh, can't have the copyright. Hold on. Can't have the copyright. Under this sometime sky. I wonder if there's still meaning. Can't have the copyright. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the copyright, uh, cop copyright, uh, thing. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. 
You guys don't think any type in eight years of my life. And that can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just still Might can't... be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. The least they could do is be upfront with us about our jobs. Sorry about today. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Because why not? <laughs> I mean, you know. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. And I think I know. Well, at least I think I know. Uh, let's see. I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Can we even pull that off? It won't be high production value, but it'll still be fun. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? It's like, was I supposed to do something? <laughs> I mean, uh, let's see, which one looks more threatening to me? To me, I mean, the one on the left looks pretty majestic, the one on the right kind of looks kind of meh, but I mean, it has its, you know, the one, the one on the left. Strong Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike. But first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. <laughs> That's the kind of crap I had to do when I was in broadcasting school. <laughs> no kidding. I'm not even kidding, folks. I did a... I, for people who don't know, I did a radio... I did a... I was a DJ on a radio station back in in broadcasting school called Edge on Air, and I had to do exactly what she's doing right now. <laughs> and, like, that was crazy. The name of my show is actually called uh, Stray Edge on Air. That was the name of my radio show. I don't know what the name of hers is, but, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool, you know, to have something like that, you know. Hold on, let's see, let's see if there's anything in here, I can use it with my power, but... How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. for that right thing, you know, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Looking for the right thing. <laughs> Chrissy, leave me. After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. There's a break why first of all, why is there a breakup section? <laughs> like <laughs> I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. Well, I cannot help that guy. Find something. Just want to be friends. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Name Blink, Race Half Elf, Fast Bard. <laughs> Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The town of Haven Springs would like to remind listeners of the upcoming council vote regarding mining in Haven. Further information is available at Town Hall. On these warm spring days, do you ever just want to be buried alive in an avalanche of sweet, delicious ice cream? <laughs> if your answer is yes, you are super weird. Please stay home. The rest of us can grab a delicious, normal portion frozen treat down at Avalanche Ice Cream, family owned and operated since 1993. The year I was born. Still with us, kind Haven listeners? Good. Your reward is music. Oh boy, I love that. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This yeah. LARP thing just might work. If I actually, uh, like, if there's an actual part of this game where I ask you you gotta start fighting people, that's gonna be, uh, insane. Hold on, people. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I had to close my door, guys. Anyway. Um. Yeah, um. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? 
No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Thanks again. Me and Christy owe you one. You bet. Yeah, because <laughs> I did that. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Where did it come from? Oh wait, that place is real. <laughs> I, I thought they were just making it up. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway. Um. Yeah, where's the, where's the dispensary? Bait and tackle. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh, a place. Oh, a place I would never go into because I'm straight edge. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. See, a place I would never go into in real life. <laughs> Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah. Distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. 
Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? What? I gotta make this decision? Oh, God. Um... This kid could be the future and live on Gabe's legacy if she is if she doesn't. And if she doesn't, I feel like he's gonna go into a turmoil. And because what's important here for people, no matter what has happened, always stay in school. Because staying in school makes you better. So yeah. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, she said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. Things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tapping the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I wish you had something like that around here, that'd be like pretty cool. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Passed, I literally passed on the way here. I mean. That's where I started. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep's good. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Eleanor? 
Oh! oh. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac Maybe. here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know they about know my condition, my they'll make me close this place. This is insane. This game is insane. I'm telling you, people. This game is insane. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. <sighs> Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, um, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I I want to help.
Okay. What would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember.
They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake. I missed it. Alex. I'm... I'm so sorry. Hey, it's fine. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that sucked, but at least I told her the truth. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Park looks fun to explore. Oh, I didn't know he was right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you... want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. You're writing a novel? I just started. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is... Yo, 
where to run the rockers. I don't care right now. <laughs> it's just, I, I freaking. There's the bridge. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Alex, look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. Oh boy. Here we go. Gotta do this. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? We're done here. Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. That poor young man. How did I forget? People. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge.
I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Listeners, that was Tone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. should be <laughs> like I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge I don't get it do people just not want ice cream anymore I looked over the have to keep up a brave face for Angela she loves our store so much he must be exhausted Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? I can't figure this out like in like the next 10 minutes. I'm, I'm looking up how to do it. We're done here. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan. Hold on, I'll, I'm gonna edit this out. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Even Riley. Fuck! Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that. Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Are you sure? 
Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. This game is so great. I'm telling you. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you... Want to talk about Mac? Yeah. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Can I go this way? Yeah, take I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! Leave me alone!
deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? Why? No! What the hell? There are people out there! Now, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, and now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? What, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? You deserve everything you're getting. What? Maybe you didn't kill him. But you could have done something. You could have spoken up at the wake. Or told the police what really happened. And you didn't. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. Man, this... This game is absolute cinema. 
I'm not even joking, dude. <laughs> like, I love this. I love this game, man. This is probably one of the best. This is probably. Uh, I don't know where I would rank it with the other ones, but this one's really good. <laughs> You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter! I keep- coming here and playing it back but it always ends the same Ryan he's dead he's really dead Alex It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. He chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? That was... Oh, 
man. There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like, breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> See it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. <laughs> Gabe! <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. I, the Mounties? Like, this must be some kind of like fever dream or something. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? So... <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? Okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? Uh, 
So... I guess I have this... power. I can... see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I... I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... Now, I guess... Just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... Why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. I swear, Greg Sestero is the great, is the perfect guy to play this dude. If they ever made this a movie, like, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I can. I don't know if I'll put this in my editing program, but if I, I don't know if I will or what, but I put it up here in the corner if I do. <laughs> Welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. what the other decision would have been if I would have screwed that up when he was standing on the on the cliff right there, but oh, I must have did the good thing because I'm pretty sure it would have went badly if I didn't do it the right way. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. 
But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Oh my god. Oh. And it says my game crash. What the heck? No, wait. Yeah. Damn. Well, my game crashed. But anyway. Oh my god. Look. That was crazy, everybody. Um. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for watching. And, um, man, that was a crazy episode. But, um, I'll be back with y'all soon to, um, to do episode three. I don't know how many episodes there really there is in this one, but, man, that was, that was crazy. That was a crazy episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Have a good one.